I think both China and the U.S. together should take a step back. Tariffs are not the answer, almost disastrous. I don't think that uh, suddenly the dollar is going to be uh, diffused. China and U.S. is, is going to be uh, you know, two of the largest economy, important power. How can they work together without a future tariff war? How to avoid this kind of confrontation? In leading the CME, I faced hard issues, just like we face on a global basis. And I always found that the answer lie in conversation, in understanding the other person's position. When our previous president declared tariffs, I knew it was the wrong way to go. Tariffs are not the answer to a smooth and equal economy of both nations. I think it's a terrible, terrible, uh, almost disastrous uh, act. And I knew that there would be retribution as there no question has to be. If one nation tariffs, the next nation, the next nation will tariff back. And that destroys the goodwill and the ability for both nations to grow and to continue. Open markets are the only question, are the only solution. And the response by China that I expected. But that's behind us. I think this administration can do better and will do better. But I think it needs to re organize itself. I think both China and the US together should take a step back and say, hey, let's try to wipe, wipe the slate clean and let's begin again a conversation that'll lead us to a better result. I believe that being one of the two nations that lead this world, it is incumbent upon them to do that. So it's even more important that the US and China begin from the beginning a new relationship. And I think we can work out the differences. There are many who have said that globalization is over. And that's not true. Globalization will not end. Technology will not end. And technology has put the world together. Now, as far as currency is concerned, that does evolve. I think the system that presently grew out of Bretton Woods, which was a free float of currency, is the best system that mankind has ever devised. So I don't think that uh, suddenly the dollar is going to be uh, diffused, which it, which it won't be because it's the reserve currency for the longest time, I believe it will remain. Although I hold high in the yuan as well, because it represents a very successful and big nation and you have to honor the currency of that nation as well. Uh, I have always believed in the value of people and their intellect. Uh, we aren't going to some alien world. We are the beings on this planet and we have to save the planet both from a, a warming potential that is serious and has to be cared for as well as a political involvement between us. And that's how this world can continue.